Hello, beautiful people. Welcome back to my channel. It's a girl, it's your name, Ma. I am back again with another video. In this video, I'm going to be talking about eight signs that you are in a toxic relationship. Now, if you're in a relationship and you don't know whether it's a toxic or an healthy one, then you definitely need to sit back, relax, and keep on watching. Welcome back guys, so I'm just going to get right into it. So let's dive right into analyzing whether you are in a toxic relationship or an LV one. So the first sign that you are in a toxic relationship is if you don't feel safe. Now this applies um, whether it's physically or emotionally. Are you in a relationship where you're always watching your back? Like if something drops, you're scared. It seems that you are in a toxic relationship. Is it that that person is abusing you? physically and that is not nice um that is the sign of a toxic relationship you don't need to be in such a relationship where you're constantly made at the punching back you're always watching your back you're always scared no that is not good for you it can also be emotionally where um your opinions doesn't matter in that relationship your feelings doesn't count in that relationship you're always counting your words if you want to say something you're wondering um is this person going to be what i am going to say now that is a sign of being in a toxic relationship you are not safe to share your opinions um your thoughts on any matter like you don't have that person makes you feel like you don't have the right to even voice out anything in that relationship. Now that is a toxic relationship. The reason why this came out as the first um, one that I'm discussing is because I have first and experienced this kind of you know toxic relationship where I was always worried, um, counting my words um, of what next I'm going to say. If I say this, how is he going to feel about it? If I say this, it's going to just misinterpret everything. And because of that, I was not being myself. I was not safe um, to help my views. And if you've noticed, I'm a very opinionated person and i love to share my views i love to tell someone oh hey what you did i don't like that um or this is how i feel about the particular thing so i don't like being shut up understand like with a place where i cannot be open you know and when you are in an elder relationship now you're going to feel safe to tell each other anything if the other partner um say something or does something that hurts your feelings you can feel safe to openly tell him or her that this is what you've done and it hurts my feelings without being you know gaslighted and all that and all that so you have to make sure that in the relationship that you are in that you're feeling safe physically and emotionally all right guys so the second sign that you are in a toxic relationship is if you have bad communication or non-existent communication now are you in a relationship where um you guys don't communicate at all now that is a toxic relationship when i talk about communication i don't mean this person calling you from morning till night to get before you know that you're communicating no that's not what i'm talking about even though that is also communication in a certain way but i'm not talking about that um side of communicating what i mean by communication is are you being hurt you know in your relationship what i mean by communication is when you say something are you understood in that relationship are you guys free to call out each other you did something wrong this is what you did i don't like that and you guys can call each other out you guys can also applaud each other like you are free to communicate your feelings communicate your needs to your partner without you know feeling some type of way so that is what i mean by communication so when you're in a relationship where this is not happening at all your partner is not listening to you or your partner is giving you something we call um that lighting or sign of uh, uh what they call that i think this is disruptive communication or something like that that is um that lighting stone walling um, misinterpretation and all that you're saying something and your partner misinterpreted i think i said it's my first point or you say something and your partner just don't wall you like he doesn't say anything he doesn't respond no responsiveness from his side or her side then that means your partner is stonewalling you or are you being gaslighted 
where you say something and your partner makes it feel like you're crazy or there's something wrong with you. Now that is a sign of what we call disruptive um, communication, something like that. Uh, well, and that is a sign. If you are in a relationship and these things, the things I just listed is happening to you, then that is a sign that you are in what a toxic relationship. You are having bad communication. Okay, so if you're in a relationship where this is happening, that is bad communication. All this communication is not even happening at all. Like I like to say, um, communication in a relationship is the heart of every relationship. If there is no communication, I mean, I don't know what you guys or how you guys are going to, uh, you know, bond and stay together and, you know, discover yourselves together. So guys, so you have to watch out for the type of communication that you are having in your relationship. Okay, guys, so the third sign that you are in a toxic relationship is if you are neglected or if you feel neglected or exploited. Okay, now let me break this down for you. If you are in a relationship where your partner doesn't um, care about you, is not attentive to your needs and your desires, it's not like these needs are something that you cannot handle or you are incapacitated, but he's doing this because he cares about you. Now, if you're in a relationship where he doesn't care, then that means you are in a toxic relationship. You should be in a relationship where you guys meet each other's needs and desires. You get so if you're in such a relationship, then you are in an elderly relationship. But in a situation whereby you are there, something happens to you, your partner doesn't care, you say this, your partner is not listening, uh, you need something, your partner is not trying to find out ways he can, you know, help out and all that, dude or babe, you are in a toxic relationship, you need to tap out of such a relationship, or are you in a relationship where you are exploited, you are the only one caring in that relationship, and the other partner is just doing minding his or her business, then you are being exploited, you are being uh, you're the one that is putting in much work, you know, your emotions into everything and he's not responding, he's not giving you back the same um, energy, then that is when you know that you are what in a toxic relationship. So look at this signs, look at your relationship, screen it carefully. Are you seeing this sign? Then you are in a toxic relationship and you need to tap out of it. All right, guys, so the first time that you are in a toxic relationship is if you lose yourself or you feel lost in that relationship. Now, this is what I mean by that. Now, you are in a relationship where instead of your partner um, improving um, on you or maybe you improve on yourself and maybe you work on yourself and your goals, rather, he's trying to shield you from your goals. You lose yourself. You tend to forget what you stand for. Now, you are being uh, manipulated. Let's just call it that. You're being manipulated. You don't have a voice in that relationship. If your partner says, let's go left, you are going left. Like you cannot stand your ground. You suddenly forget your core values. You suddenly forget who you are. You suddenly forget your goals. You suddenly forget to pursue your dreams. And you're just doing your partner's bidding and all that. Then, girl, you are in a toxic relationship. You shouldn't be in a relationship where you lose yourself completely. Rather, a relationship should make you a better person. A relationship should make you grow. A relationship should make you see yourself like, oh yes, okay, I'm, I'm, I'm in something that is positive. It shouldn't be something that is drawing you back. It should be something that is making you move forward. You know, so if your partner is not helping you out or is not assisting to make you a better person, but rather is drawing you back or trying to mess up what you have built so far on your own, then you are in a toxic relationship and you need to tap out of it. Okay guys, so the fifth sign that you are in a toxic relationship is if you are constantly belittled and ashamed. Now you're in a relationship where instead of your partner always saying positive things to you, he keeps talking you down, he keeps saying you can't do it, you are ugly, you can never be successful. Instead of giving you encouraging words or inspirational words to make you, you know, reach your goals, he's talking you down. You wear something nice, he tells you it's ugly, remove it. Uh, you have a nice makeup on, he tells you it's not fine. Like you're constantly belittled and that can mess your self-esteem up like to a hundred and it's not good for you so that is the sign that you are in a toxic relationship or you are always 
um, belittled outside, you guys go outside and it makes you feel so low about yourself, it makes you feel like shame embarrasses you in public, that is a sign of a toxic relationship and you need to run. It's up. Take it from me. You don't need such a relationship. You need a relationship where even if you feel lowest of low, because there are days you will feel lowest of lows. You need someone that will say, babe, you can do this. Baby, you are more than this. Encourage you. And not make you feel worse or more than worse that you you feel already. So um that is a sign that you are in a toxic relationship and you need to run. Run as far as your legs can carry you. Okay. All right, guys. So the next um, sign that you are in a toxic relationship is if you feel controlled and manipulated. Now, your partner always wants to control every move of yours, always wants to control every decision you make, down to the smallest things like your outfit. He wants to control whatever you wear. He wants to control what you eat. He wants to control where you go, and even if you want to go, he wants to know exactly where you go. He wants, like, he's being controlling, over controlling. It's not good. That is a sign of a toxic relationship. And he keeps manipulating you every time to be who you are not, to do things that you don't want to do, to go places that you don't want to go. Now, that is a sign of a toxic relationship, and you need to run, like I said, tap out. Oh, you don't need to be in such a relationship. At least you should have a mind of your own in a relationship. If you're in a relationship, it doesn't mean that you should lose yourself completely, like I've said before. You should have a mind of your own. You should be able to take some decisions uh, on your own and not be constantly controlled um, by the next partner. So if that is happening to you, then you are in a tough, big relationship. All right, moving right along to the next um, sign that you're in a toxic relationship. So the next sign is if you feel that you are doing all the work in that relationship. Now, like I always say, a relationship should be 50-50, a two-way thing. If it's not 50-50, at least it should be 60-40. Now, it shouldn't be at any point in time 0-100. So if you're in a relationship where you are the one doing everything, you are the one calling, you are the one texting, you're the one making plans. You're the one thinking. You're the one doing every damn thing. Girl, you will be exhausted in no time. Trust me. And that is not good. That is a toxic relationship. Because you keep giving and giving and giving and you don't receive. So you're bound to be exhausted. So a relationship is a give and take kind of transaction. I give, 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 you receive. Then you give, 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 I receive. That is how it's supposed to be. I'm not going to stay here and keep giving you all the love the care the respect the and you're not giving me at least half of that in return come on so even in such a relationship that is a toxic relationship get yourself a partner that is going to return all the love that you've been giving him or her get yourself a partner that's going to also respect you as as well as you're respecting him or her Get yourself a partner that's going to love and care for you the same way that you're doing that. So um, the reason why I said 50 40 is because um, sometimes some people um, love you more than you love them. There's that tendency that you might love somebody more than he loves you. Someone might love you more than you love. There's always going to be a disparity in the level of love, but it shouldn't be too much. Like I said, let it not be too glaring that you don't care about me or you don't love me. So when once you find yourself in that situation, then you are in a toxic relationship. Girl, it's not good for your mental health. You will go, you're going to be drained as soon as possible. You're going to feel exhausted as soon as possible. It's not going to... Uh, be palatable. You're not going to enjoy every bit of it. So please tap out of such a relationship. All right, guys. So the last time that you are in a toxic relationship is if you don't feel empathy from your partner. Yeah, this one is kind of like something that is related to being um, belittled. Yeah, something like that. Or when you're in a relationship that you are not uh, feeling loved and all that. So. Feeling empathy from your partner is very important because there are some times that you're going to go through awful feelings, there are some times that things are going to happen to you, things are not just going to go right. So your partner should be emotionally available to you. That is what I mean by empathy. You should be able to understand um, your feelings. You should be able to understand your situation. You should be able to empathize with whatever that is going through on you in your mind. Okay, so if you are in such a relationship uh, where your partner meets 
um, your feelings and all that is emotionally available to you anytime you need it. Say you are in an elder relationship, but if you are not, girl, you are in a toxic relationship, dude, you are in a toxic relationship, and you don't need a toxic relationship. It is bad for your mental health, even your physical health. It is bad for you, so you have to tap out of it. All right, guys, so that brings me to the end of this video. Please, guys, did you learn something? Were you able to uh, get something from this video? Was I able to point out one or two things or signs that you should look out for if you are in a toxic relationship? Now, all you need to do is to sit back, um, analyze your relationship, search yourself. If you find any of these signs in your relationship, then it's simply means that you might be in a toxic relationship and you need to find out ways um to leave such a relationship i know it is not easy um to break it off with someone that you've been with for a long time because um that person that you've known for quite a long time and you shared so many things with that person but it's important that you put yourself first in everything that you do now if you're in a relationship and it is not having value to you instead of reducing um, your self-worth then you don't need to be in that kind of relationship i know most of these things i just listed um some people have normalized it and they would lie to you and tell you that it is normal please it is not normal for someone to keep talking down on you for someone to belittle you know it is not normal it's not normal for someone to start using you as a punching bag it is not normal yes i know that in a relationship you're going to have some issues, some disagreement. It is not, um, you cannot roll that out in a relationship. But it shouldn't come to a point where you are constantly was being abused because of your issues. You guys should be mature enough to trust it out maturely and move on and move forward. You get so, guys, that is just my little <clears throat> advice. And I just hope that this video help someone out there anybody out there that is in a toxic relationship you are going to be fine if you are worried that if you leave that relationship you're not going to be fine i'm telling you trust me you will be fine in no time like it will take some time but you will finally be all right okay guys please if you like this video give this video a thumbs up comment down below what you learned from this video like i always say i would love to read your comments keep them coming also don't forget to share this video with your family and friends if you are yet to subscribe to my channel and join the family join the community what are you waiting for these are the kind of videos that i put out every week so you need to go onto my channel click on that subscribe button and the notification bell just beside it so you get notified each time i post a new video thank you guys for watching see you in my next video and as always remain beautiful